Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I want to show you how to run Mule 4 runtime inside Docker container and how to configure Mule cluster of servers for high availability. In this demo, first I will create the Mule 4 runtime Docker image and I will create a multiple instances of Mule 4 runtime and these instances will run inside Docker containers. I will register these instances in any point runtime manager and I will create a mule cluster of these instances in any point runtime manager. To build the docker image, we have to create docker file. I have already created a docker file for this uh, image that we are going to build. So let me open this docker image. Docker image is a set of instructions. So the first instruction is the parent image. So this is the parent image. So new image will be based out of this parent image, open JDK. And then here I am running few more commands. First one cleans the app directory, then it creates the app directory. Then here I'm adding this uh, mule4 runtime to the app directory. So this is the mule4 runtime zip file. I have uh, in this directory same directory if a docker file is there you can also download this uh, mule4 runtime from mule website then i'm creating here working directory so slash app is a work directory so you need to add this work directory then i'm running three command using run command first is unzipping the zip file mule runtime zip file and then I am moving the unzipped parent folder to the mule4 folder. At the end, I am removing the zip file. Here I am creating the volume mount points, log, apps and domains. These are three volume mount points that I am defining here. Expose command, expose the ports. So here I am exposing some HTTP ports ranging from 8081 to 8091. Then I'm exposing some of the ports for the cluster. These ports are required for a cluster. Here I'm exposing few more ports for agent. So agent can communicate to the any point platform runtime manager. Last command, cmd command, it runs the mule, mule runtime. This mule file exists under mule for slash bin slash mule. That's what it is running. So this is start the mule4 runtime. Now I will build the docker image. To build the docker image, we need to have a docker engine. So you can install the docker desktop on your laptop. I'm using Windows 10. So I have installed the docker desktop for Windows 10. So let me run the docker desktop. I will run the docker desktop. Docker desktop is starting. Docker desktop has been started. Now I will build the image. I will go to the command prompt. I will go to the directory where my docker file is. So I have a docker file in this directory. CD. And here I will run the docker build command. So I will use this docker build command. Docker build to Sanjeev slash mule colon 44 is a tag that will be given to the mule4 runtime build that we are going to create and it will use the docker file so minus f option is used for specifying the docker file name so i will run this command docker images so this uh, 
docker image has been created mule 4 runtime docker image has been created now i will run the container based out of this docker image so i'll copy this command let me copy again docker run command creates the container and run the container minus t for uh, interactive mode and minus p option specify the port mapping so here we are mapping tcp 8081 port to that 8081 container port so we are mapping the tcp port of this machine to the 8081 container port now I'm going to run this command. This will create a container. So container has been created. Now I will go to the Docker desktop. Here you can see the container is running. An image that we created is here. We created this image and based out of this image, this container is creating. Inside this container, we are running mule 4 runtime. That's what we are seeing here. So inside this container, mule 4 is running. Now I will create one more mule 4 runtime instance that will also run inside Docker container. So I will open one more command prompt. And I will run the docker run command. Here I am mapping 8082 TCP port of this machine to the 8082 container port. Click enter. This will start another mule 4 runtime instance. So mule 4 is running inside container. It started. Let me go to the docker desktop and second container is also running. Now I will register both these mule instances to the any point runtime. So I will go to any point platform. I will log in. I will go to the runtime manager. I will go to servers. And here I will add server. So I will register the new runtime instances. I will give the name dev server1. Copy command. I will go to the docker container. Open in terminal, BSH, changing cell, mule 4, win, and here I will run the AMC setup command. So this command I copy it from the endpoint runtime manager, click enter. So mule 4 agent has been configured. So we have configured the mule 4 agent here. Let me go to the any point platform. So dev server one created. I will add one more server for another runtime instance. Dev server two, I will copy this command. Go to the Docker desktop and I will run this command in another container. I will set up the new agent here. 
I'll run the command. So Mule isn't configured inside this Mule runtime as well. Now I will go to the runtime manager. Both the server has been created. Now I will start the server. I will start both of these servers. Okay, both instances are running now in any point platform. Let me rephrase. So both on-prem Mule 4 runtime instances registered and they are running. Now I will create cluster of these instances. So I will create cluster. I will give the name dev cluster and I will select multicast and I will select both these instances that are running inside docker container. I will create cluster. So cluster is starting. Let me go to the container and see the log. So cluster is configuring now. So initially when we started the Mule 4 runtime instances, that time cluster mode was disabled. Now it should be enabled. It's configuring cluster. So you can see that now cluster mode is enabled. Let me check another instance logs here also now cluster mode is enabled initially it was disabled so now it's enabled so we have configured both mule 4 server instances inside cluster Let me go to the any point platform. So cluster is running. And server also running. So we are providing high availability using these uh, servers because both the server are running inside cluster. So we have configured the cluster of these servers and both these instances will share the common information. They will synchronize automatically and if one server goes down another server will provide information because common information will be shared and and cluster will provide the high availability because all the information is being shared now if uh, you don't have a requirement of sharing the common information then instead of using cluster you can use server group because synchronizing common information takes some resources and that might slow down the process. So if you want to run both the server independently, then you can create the server group and you can still deploy the Mule application using server group and the application will be deployed to the both instances. And those instances will run independently. But in case of cluster, Cluster instances share the common information, they synchronize automatically. So all the information will be available on both the instances or in fact all the instances that are configured inside same cluster. And that's how the cluster provides high availability. Now I'm going to deploy a Mule application to this cluster, dev cluster. So I will go to the applications, click deploy application, choose file, upload file, select the jar file, give the name, mule 
mule cluster demo i will choose the deployment target dab cluster and i will click deploy application so application is being deployed let me go to the docker desktop so it's a it found new application mule cluster demo and it's initializing so it has started the mule cluster demo and the application has been started let's check another container another instance and here also mule cluster demo has been started and the application is running we can go to the app directory so this is the mule application that we deployed it is available under mule 4 app directory we can go to the another cluster this is second cluster okay cluster demo application here as well so that means uh, we have deployed the new application using mule cluster and it has been deployed to both the mule 4 instances okay application has been started target tab is cluster so this is all in this video i hope you understood how to dockerize the mule 4 runtime how to create docker file how to build a docker image and how to run docker container and how to register mule 4 instances inside any point runtime manager and how to create mule 4 cluster for high availability and then i showed you how to deploy the mule application to a single deployment target mule cluster and it's deployed to the all the server that is configured inside the cluster so this is all in this video if you like this video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much